Right guys, this is Kesma and this is my second time recording this because the first time I recorded it without sound. So this is a tutorial on how to make a custom logo. Uh, it's just custom texts for your YouTube logo actually. So what you want to do is make a size of a logo if you want to do it. But I'm just going to make it slightly bigger so I can fit the text in. So I'm making it as my desktop background size. Not really that important. We'll unlock the layer if you've not made it transparent. Click T for text and take the text that you want in for your logo. You want to zoom in pressing Ctrl and plus or Ctrl and minus to zoom out. Ctrl and zero makes it the whole fit the whole screen. And that's useful tips for doing this custom logo because you'll be zooming in and out of quite a lot. So once you've zoomed in a bit to your, I'll get delete the background into your uh, logo here or your text you want to come over here and right click and rasterize type so once you've done that take the marquee tool or press M and it will select the marquee tool select over one letter that's why I've, like it's quite spaced out uh, well go over drag your marquee tool over the letter right click and go copy no, layer via cut, so there you go, change the layer name to Z, I change the layer names because it doesn't get that confusing uh, if you've got a lot of letters and knowing what layer you're on, and why is this not changing, there we go. So now you, if we've got your letters, both letters on different la layers, you can start customising it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a logo kind of like the one I've got on my YouTube right now. So by deleting, using the marquee tool, going onto the layer, so I went onto the K, and highlighting over the section that you want to delete, and just clicking delete. It's as simple as that. So now, what you want to do is Control and T, which opens the free transfer, well, free transform, sorry, and uh, flipping horizontal, or you can flip it 90 degrees, 180, and you can do a lot of things with this. I'm not going to go into the tools that much, so apart from bits I feel like you kind of need to know to do this so flip horizontal and click enter when you've done so go, go press V which is the short key for the move tool and move it into the Z with a little gap like that so once I have done that I'm going to go holding shift and you can select both layers and they both move at the same time that's another useful tip so now what I want to do is make the Z kind of move over a little bit. So with the pen tool, you want to click on the Z layer. And with the pen tool, which is short key is P, is quickly, or roughly select around the bottom part of the Z. And right click and make section. And that makes it into a marquee tool kind of dotted line. Now go to your mark, marquee tool, which the short key is M. Right click, go to layer via cut, and it will cut the layer onto its own layer. By clicking V to get the move tool, and using the arrow keys, you can move it into where you like. So I want it to about there. Now, the top of it doesn't look the same. So what I need to do is just take my marquee tool again, and go to about there, highlight over the end of the Z or whatever letter you need to do, right click and go copy via cut, no layer via cut sorry, and I'm just going to move it back to be in a 45 degree angle to my, my, uh, my Z, which that's the pen tool you can make it draw a 45 degree angle so that's the wrong thing I want to move control and Z and with the pen tool if you hold shift and click above it it will make a 45 degree angle for you so with using that you can roughly move it and then by del to delete the line of the pen tool just click delete once and there you have it so uh, other thing I'm going to do now is show you some other tips for making logos so the other one is if you select a part, well actually, 
control and E for the first one is it makes the two the layer the top layer merge with the one below it so control E and there you have it all my Z's are together now the next one is if you take the marquee tool and highlight over say a flat surface like this back of the K and select the K right click and go to free transform you can extend or take it back and so on stuff like that it's, uh, in your drawing so in your custom logos so as I see I just dragged that into my Z to make it a little custom kind of logo the other things you can do is also join these two together now that's my custom logo basically done but I think actually I'm going to go and take the pen tool before I do this go to Z the letter Z sorry not any shortcuts and just come down the top section because I don't like how the top section is looking make selection ok M right click and copy layer via cut and I copied it so that's wrong layer via cut that's what you want to do click the V tool and just using the arrow keys to come down uh, actually no I won't do it that way what I'll do is just using the marquee tool in the Z is just extend this up but actually it'll be a lot easier uh, so same again but layer via copy this time so and I click cut see I meant copy and I click cut that is just brilliant eh? right so M right click layer via copy and just move it up and along so it links on to the end of it there you have it so that looks kind of better for the Z to be honest and now that's basically your custom logo done you can do stuff like and I've just print screen by accident zoom in take the pen tool and see you could just make a little indent here like so and it will just make a little notch out the top by going to make selection making sure you're on the Z layer and clicking delete the more things you have to do that it is it makes it look cooler it makes it look better but you have to spend more time doing the next stage which is actually pen tooling round the shape to get it into Cinema 4D if you're not going to pen tooling you're just making a custom logo to do this and just add simple effects for your logo but if you want it 3D unfortunately you have to pen tool around it now I'm just going to give you a quick example how to do this you want to make sure you've got the pen tool selected once again short key is P and paths go to paths and you have to click round the shape so if you go like this I think these are 45 degree angles so you can hold shift down all the time and just go round your shape so once that's selected you would do it with each part of the letter or logo that you have made and then to get into Cinema 4D what you do now is make sure that you've got paths that actually made the path if it didn't right click and go to where it says delete path would say make work path go to file export path to illustrator make sure it says work path click OK and it'll ask you for a save location what you could do is just type in whatever save it and it'll give you a little file then open Cinema 4D which I'm not going to do and just go file open and then just click onto your illustrator path so that's how you do it and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial it's my first tutorial on Photoshop and yeah guys peace